In this class, we'll add material to the 3D sketch and start modeling the hair dryer handle. So let's begin. After opening the 3D sketch, enable the left boss base command to insert solid material. See how the preview is not yet displayed. Then select the profiles on the profile flyout. On this menu, select the closed loop option to select the sketch with a closed geometry, because if not, it would be impossible to select circles. Click OK to confirm. Select the next profile and confirm the action. Now we can see the material preview. After that, click the remaining profiles. Select splines in the Guide Curves option. Leave the Open Loop option activated to be able to select an open geometry. See how now the material has become spline shaped. Click the other spline and confirm. Now we have added material to the entire sketch. And so we can begin modeling the hairdryer handle. We'll create a plane on the top plane at a distance of 60 millimeters. Activate the flip box and confirm. Insert a sketch on this plane. Use the ellipse command to create an ellipse starting at the origin. Insert dimensions using Smart Dimension. Add the geometric relation and define the sketch. Activate Extruded Boss Base and define the thickness as 55 millimeters. Then click Reverse Direction. In the Draft On-Off option, change the value to 5. Select the Draft Outward box and confirm. Great! The solid handle is ready. Let's create a division line so the fittings can be created. Activate the line command in the front plane. Create a line starting from the center of the solid. Insert the line dimensions. Click Insert and Curve and then Split Line. Then select Projection on the type of split flyout. Leave the Faces to Split box enabled on the selection flyout. Click the face on the solid. See how the Sketch to Project box is already selected in the Sketch. Confirm the operation. Conclude this and see the two faces on the solid and the central edge. Now let's change the shape of the finger grip. 
Select the right plane and insert a sketch. Use the spline command to draw the shape as shown. Insert the dimensions and the spline will be defined. After the sketch is ready, accept and click Insert and Feature and then Deform. Select Curve to Curve on the Deform Type flyout. Click the central edge on the solid and spline respectively. On the Deform Curves flyout, and see the deformation preview. Select the fixed curve edge faces on the deform region flyout. Now click the other central edge on the solid. See how now the deformation started from the first clicked edge. Increase the deformation precision on the shape options flyout like this. See how the material follows the spline shape. Confirm the command. Great, you have changed the solid from the 3D sketch and changed it. So in the next classes we'll continue modeling the hair dryer.